hands down one of the best investments I've ever made in my business are these large painted color boards and I'm so excited that today I'm doing an unboxing just for you of Maria Killam's core collection. I want to say first off that if you are a color consultant, an interior design professional, a decorator, a home stager, or even a homeowner who is looking to decorate your home, it is really important for you to have this tool in your arsenal. I am telling you, it has changed my life having these color boards. That's why I want to share with you today. You'll probably know this if you follow me on this channel that you've seen a lot of videos that I've done, a lot of color reviews videos. In those color review videos, I always use my large color boards because it really is the best way to be able to, not only for me to see the color, make sure I know I'm choosing the right color, but for me to explain it as well to my clients. If you're interested in these boards, have a look in the description below. There's going to be links to the boards and where you can get them. If you have any questions, please do ask me. And like I said, these are from my good friend and color expert, true color expert, Maria Killam. Okay, here we go, let's do it. This is Maria Killam's Core Collection. I love this. Maria's branding, her logo, the Core Collection neutrals and whites. And Maria tells you some helpful guidelines, explains a little bit about the Core Collection, how to use the color boards. So make sure you have a read of that. And now, let's open it up. Ready? Let's do it. Now, what I love about Maria when she does her boards is that they are packed very carefully and in between each board, there is also a piece of tissue like this. Okay, so they're, they're just done very, very carefully. It's really important to also have painted boards versus printed boards because when you get the painted boards, it really is the true color. You're not getting, uh, you know, the printed, which isn't going to give you the exact accurate color. Okay, because it's going to look a little bit different when it's painted. Edge cone gray, definitely one of the most popular colors. You know, in terms of specifying for clients, worked really well with a lot of different tiles and stone, still does. When you've got a large painted board, I mean, it's so easy to be able to tell the difference between those two, isn't it? And you can definitely tell this one is more gray than the shaker beige. So here's another great comparison. Coventry Gray, which I kind of refer to as one of the truer grays, and that's got a blue undertone, and Revere Pewter has a green gray undertone. It's a green gray. So you can see what Maria does here. Is she's actually labeled them all as well, so you can easily categorize them and see when you're pulling them out and showing your client, and it just helps you familiarize yourself with the boards. I'm going to go put them up now on my new shelves. Let's take a look. So once you have all your boards and you've separated them from the tissue paper, then what you want to do is you want to stand them up and you need to curate them for a couple of weeks if you can. And I know it's so hard because you want to use them straight away, but that's why the sooner you buy them, the sooner you can start working with them, right? As you can see the ones up here, these are my Sherwin-Williams ones. I'm going to collapse them in a minute because uh, I've already had them for quite a while. That is another collection of Maria's. Check in the description below and I'm going to put up the rest of my neutrals.
getting there. And that's only one collection. Got another one to go. Dark, slots which is heavy. Hail. I was doing so well, heavy. I'm thinking of hail, maybe. 